different routes of feeding what we use enteral nutrition perspective it is either oral or enteral we always consider food as the first component right so oral oral if you are not able to achieve targets then you think of supplementing either it is a oral sub supplement or a sub feed that you give in between and when we talk about so tube feeding it is gastric feeding duodenal feeding or jejunal feeding and you have a lot of varieties in that you either go for uh, nasogastric or pharyngoscopy or uh, esophagectomy or gastrostomy nasoduodenal you you have all the different uh, levels next comes the uh, peg or pedge percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy or uh, jejunostomy or it can be a surgical patient wherein they would insert a feeding jejunostomy during the surgical procedure itself okay so these are the different ways and means where which can be used to feed a patient but always we go with food first as a concept so if a patient is able to have orally food is the first option next comes oral nutritional supplement then comes your enteral nutrition which is nothing but your tube feeding wherein dietitian has to assess the patient intervene plan a target and execute according to the prescription she interprets the prescription into a feed and finally if the gut is non functional then you think about parenteral nutrition when we talk about oral diet a typical hospital diet looks this way that's the first line of nutritional measure to tackle hospital malnutrition and 8200% of inpatients solely depend on hospital diet and always we speak about hospital diet as an example or a model what they can follow at back home and uh, during admission patients likes and dislikes are noted patients food allergy it's a very important component which has to be noted same way drug and nutrient interaction has to be looked at by the dietitian cultural ethnic ethnic religious requirements also have to be thought about social environmental meal time requirements physical difficulties of eating if we could support them with some you know uh, equipments to eat all those have to be thought about during the initial assessment itself and when we talk about meal planning in hospitals it's always a cyclic menu that is followed and seasonal uh, vegetables are used it always reflects the patient's uh, inputs whatever feedback we get from the patient is incorporated while we update the menu and it is reviewed by the uh, chief dietitian and then approved and normally menu cards are sent to the patient uh, so that they understand the different cuisines uh, what is available in the particular hospital and hospital food as i told you is a role model for them to follow at home and this is how the menu card looks wherein the different cuisines are <clears throat> given to the patient for them to choose the restriction is given by the doctor which is educated to the patient by the dietitian and the meal card is sent from the food service now that we have uh, gone totally digital we uh, you know send this uh, through the ipads we have the diet data entry operators who will go individually speak to the patient personalize meal plan for them and take the orders for execution